Yo, yo. Capture the people podcast in this shit. Here with some special guests. You dig? But yeah, let the people know who you are and what you do. Fuck going on. We here with Capture the People. Mark, go by the name Velcro S. My boy right here. Yes, sir. Space. You know what I'm saying? CTP. Hell yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, y'all pulled up with some good ass food and making me hungry as so. hell. <laughs> right. Right. right when I walked over, yeah, I y'all smoked just came shrimp. back from the studio, right? Hell yeah, I was at the uh, Doppler with my boy Surf. Been working oh, for a little shit. minute. So oh. yeah. Hell yeah, y'all performed for our Capture the Love event like a couple months back. Yes, sir. But yeah, that shit was crazy. Shit, shit was fire. You, you ready for the, the, the this shit coming up? Yeah, niggas don't even know about that. <laughs> Got a show with Capture <laughs> People, October. 22nd. Gotta pop out to that. Have to. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Do, yeah. do you uh, perform a lot? Yeah, I started getting a lot more performances recently, actually. Um, that's some shit I just trying to been get my face around. I saw I like recently one at... Uh, Georgia Tech, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That one looked deep, too. That shit was fire. They had, like, a good hundred some people out there. Mm-hmm. Um, started working with this girl, Laika. Shout out her, bro. She started this, like, little creative collective at Georgia Tech. Had a little concert for everybody. Shit was too fire. Had to bring the family out there. <laughs> Show them what was going on. Mm-hmm. Shit was beautiful, for real. Dope, dope. So as far as performing, you said you just want to get your face out more. Is That's, like, the main reason you're, why you're performing? Nah, bro. I feel like... For me, performing is the best way to to feel people. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like everything too digital. So I, like all the songs, it's on it's on streaming. Everything's on YouTube, whatever. But like that real life interaction, that's what I really yearn for. Like I really feel like that's how I, how I touch people better. How they feel my energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get uh you get live um I guess reviews or you get live reactions from Hell people. Yeah. So if it's like something that you may be needing work on, you you could tell from performing that song. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. definitely. I've had some ass performances. I was gonna say, is there ever a time like you've gone up there oh, and like everyone just shit. like well, like what's the? F- I mean, I personally don't know what the feeling is. If it's like just like everyone just standing there, just looking at you performing, like move or do something, like it's, it's like it's making me awkward. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah! Like, like what do you with, do though? I fuck with my music at mm-hmm. all times, so it's like. In my head, I'm always going to be in love with that moment of just performing, you know what I'm saying? But, like, my very first performance, it was at, like, this house party. It was dead as fuck. It was, like, five, six people in there. I was just jumping around, like, mm-hmm. had niggas just staring at me and shit. So it's just awkward, but, like, shit, I still rock the fuck out. It could be five people. It could be 500 people. Shit don't change for real. And a lot, I mean, not everyone could do that, rock out in front of five or a hundred thousand people bro yeah. that shit's harder i feel like what like getting five people lit of yeah, course because like, yeah then everyone's like able to see each other and what the other person's doing like, i feel like once you get a few people started then like everyone yeah, starts to join in. yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. like oh fuck i want to get in this too now exactly yeah but i just feel like everybody that's there at that moment is my family so it's like you know i always gonna have family members that fuck with you mm-hmm. but shit we still family in this moment so we still gonna we gonna pipe up. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah. You got some crazy ass music, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate that. It's just really good. Appreciate that. Yeah, me and Benny. Be that shit I was gonna say me and Benny. I don't know because we worked together a few times last week and we were reviewing uh, the stuff that you have out right now. And, Type shit. And uh, shit, I love it. I mean, it's great. That. It's, it's definitely like you got a wide variety of of different music. You know what I mean? Um, Hell shit, yeah. I've been playing two times with you and Surf, Hell yeah. bro, since like, <laughs> I don't that know, since like crazy. February, dude. I literally would play, like, it's on my playlist, like, to play at events, because, like, people, like, even know the song. They're like, oh, is that Surf? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that, that's just love, too. Um, nah, yeah, that shit is beautiful. Yeah. Bro. Loud-ass motherfucking train. Bro, yeah, yeah. Good Company has got to be, like, one of my favorite songs, bro. We gonna good hear that. Company is We gonna hard, hear that motherfucker on October 22nd. Oh, for right? yeah, Bye. Bye. Hell yeah. This shit, the quality of it too is really good. Like, what, what do you think? Oh, bro, uh, I do all that shit myself. Oh, what? I record everything. I was about to ask you about your team and everything, but bro, I was at the studio bro. today. I do not be going to the studio, bro. I don't be going to the studio for real. I know you. You said that was your first time there, and I was like, oh, that's yeah, weird. I don't be going to the studio for real. So I just bought a um, mic, got some speakers, got a motherfucking computer. Mm-hmm. I used to have a uh, cracked ass FL. It was just like a bootleg ass program on my old computer <laughs> yeah got a new computer and mac you know and anybody with a mac know that that shit don't go on mac so i had yeah. to buy that shit and i just been locked in like youtube university i'm shout out youtube yeah bro, this bitch. For youtube sure. university is the way you trying to learn anything bro like i put my head down wearing that bitch like shit that engineering shit not hard for real yeah yeah no that's Gotta dope that's dope do you think it makes more sense like for an artist that's starting off to work on their own instead of going to a studio I feel like it depends, cause for me personally, I was going to like some studios where, um, 
it just wasn't perfect. It wasn't what I wanted and what mm-hmm. I like felt the song should be at or whatever track should be at. So I would put that extra effort in myself, like just lock in and just really curate the sound to sound exactly like how I wanted. Exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. No, that's why. Do you think you understand music better f- from engineering your own music now and like Hell understanding yeah. your voice? Hell yeah. Like I know exactly what I want before I even start recording. Mm-hmm. So then I can tune it and like tailor it to that exact sound. You know what I mean? Are you always on the engineer like when you're at a studio like you like you were today? Like, oh, I want to sound nah, like that. Nah, so like, I actually, they... I fuck with like getting that release sometimes. Like today I was just recording, like mm-hmm. that's it. And then like I'm telling him what to do here and there, but like I like control. I'm a controlling ass mm-hmm. person. Like I like having the ability I mean, well, to it's your shit. music. It is my shit, it's my shit. So it's like, I like being able to say yes or no sometimes when shit's moving too fast in the studio like some that shit's fast it's fast paced a lot of times Mm -hmm. um you can't really slow it down as much so like my big thing is like that control and that artistic um like aspect of it that's my favorite part for sure for sure so that that uh hobby you have (laughs) make what is he grip walking bro (laughs) is he grip walking are they doing tiktok right some mexican shit bro (laughs) that's what it's that's hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nah, but um, what you call it? Fucking yeah, we're here at Perimeter Mall, by the way. If you're watching this shit, um, I was gonna ask you though. So what? What made you want to start making music? Like, where does that come from? Bro, I think I was just talking to you about this the other day. I think um, I was saying I feel like music isn't everybody, and it's more about like when and where you start tapping into it. So like, middle school, me nah earlier than that, earlier than that. I was rapping with my homies in like elementary school. We had a little rap group. I yeah. had a song with my boy uh, Chris Van Gogh. He was in that shit. We went to elementary school and all that together. Yeah, yeah. We I had y'all have a song together. Yeah, that way up. Was hard too. Yeah. Yeah. So we literally been rapping like since kindergarten type shit, and it's just like it's evolved over time to working on beats, working on engineering, working on like full length projects and shit. So I feel like it's always been there, and I just. I had to bring it out a little more. Yeah, saying, for sure. Time, yeah. yeah, I agree with to a certain extent. Like it is within everybody. I think early on, a lot of people just gravitate towards like learning that language because I think that's what music is. Really, it's a language for real. It's for sure. It is. It is. So like everybody fucks with music. I think without it, like there'd be a lot different with Bro, the world when, right now. Everybody. Yeah. All of us in right here, we hear one song and we all feel that shit in our heart. Mm-hmm. Like if it's the good world enough, would not. Bro, think if we didn't have music. It'll be boring yeah, as fuck. Bro. The world would be boring as fuck. What would you do if you Stay went across up. country on a on a car ride? You <laughs> nah, just listening to the wind and shit. Like what? <laughs> no, yeah, bro. Like, no. Cut them cars. There'd be a lot stronger <laughs> drugs. There'd be a lot stronger drugs if that were the case. Oh bro. hell yeah. For Niggas sure. don't met a lot more if there's no music. Nah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah! But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, yeah, sounds, sound waves, they're they're waves, it's energy. You it's know, I think that's like that's what we it, are yeah. too. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Do you believe in any of that stuff, like uh, spirituality? I'm a spiritual nigga. I feel like, but like I don't be buying stones and like praising the stones. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm not, I don't got no altar in my house. So um, I'm like, oh look at the stones. Praying like, to the stones. <laughs> How my day gonna go today? How my day gonna go? Yeah, like what? Nah, I'm not. I don't know that much about astrology. You know, I be having some women tell me a little bit here and there, but I don't really know that much about astrology. Why are the women so much into it, bro? They want they want to think that that sign defines you, so you know, they gonna look at co-star. I know, like I hate like, when you be talking to someone and they be like, "Oh, what's your sign?" And like, like for me, I'm a Libra. It's like, man, what a Libra? Ew, get out of my face! Like Every I don't time. even know what. Like, Every time. I guess it's Libra season right now. You be so, uh, reading books, bro. That's why. What? You be reading books. I know. <laughs> Staying educated. I be trying to cap sometimes, cause when I tell them a Gemini, they be wanting to dinner and walk away. They be. Tsk. Wait, why is that though? I don't know. They be saying we two faced, hey, man. Bro, but they're Some doing cat. you a favor by walking away, cause that's <laughs> weird. Like, why? Oh God, it's like, yeah, you definitely off something. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> off something, bro. Point, Damn, bro. Man, like, hey, bro, but I mean, closer. closer to, uh, like, I guess when you co- like try to put all of those things, uh, reading stones, fucking. Even witchcraft, like I feel like it all w- falls within the same category of like believing. It's in all it. spiritual, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're energy, like you said. Like I mean, realistically, there's a lot more to us than just this earth, you know. You think so? I mean, I feel it really. I feel like it. I could be wrong. I mean, bro, they've they've here. literally been saying that there's like, I don't know. I feel like in the past five, five years, like we have discovered so many more things than we did before. But it also could be because like media has been like growing and like we're just hearing about it more 
but like this alien shit the fbi saying like they don't want to release it because uh it's gonna scare the people i've been on that shit these niggas will lie to us about anything, bro. It's real though. They will lie to us about You think anything. aliens are real? Yes. Bro. Oh, of they course. They have documents of this shit. They have. They've been have sightings, but like niggas just will write it off. Mm-hmm. Bro, it they, sounds weird. They've they've already like publicly released these images. CIA but, documents. But then it was just washed away with like I guess some political bullshit. So like no. I mean that's how they do it, bro. Like they control the media just as much as we do. Nah. Nah, sure. they control it more. Yeah. I think they control it more. For real? We, we the people that's. That's consuming it. Mm-hmm. Like the diggers with the deep pockets, the old ass white dude. That's the they the, can the write the shows. They write all that yeah. shit. They write all that shit for sure. So I try to stay out the way a little bit sometimes. Like I be feeling burnt out by like social media a lot because it's like, uh, what the fuck are niggas talking about? Like I get on Twitter or some shit, and yeah. like after five ten minutes, I'm like, bro, these niggas dumb. These Twitter funny birds. as hell, bro. Like it, it is, is funny. funny. It is hell. funny though. It is funny, but that shit. <laughs> it's another world for real i think being on instagram and like following a lot of other artists like it could get a little super saturated like yeah it definitely. could be like almost too much like fuck this is the only shit i'd be seeing now it might make niggas get yeah. imposter syndrome too because like you see a bunch of what 13 14 year old kids 100 million on tiktok or whatever mm-hmm. fuck like, damn i'm not doing that they just be yeah. like damn like they just feel some type of way yeah you gotta avoid that gotta avoid that for sure it's a, you, it can lead to a lot of like overthinking and a lot hell of jumping yeah. to, to conclusions for sure bro hell yeah i think i think the worst thing about it is um social media in general is the fact that there's no filter because you can you're not seeing face to face facts niggas think like, they say whatever you, bro you could give a fuck you'll say whatever you want i think <laughs> just yeah Keep just about oh god for sure Should i think i'm gonna make myself a burner account a burner account? <laughs> just start commenting on people's pictures. Everybody, Trash. everybody's had a burner account. Bro. I've honestly everybody's never had a burner account. I swear, or like a fake Instagram or anything. Like I've always wanted to make one just to be like, whatever. But no, I've never really been middle on that. Middle school was crazy. I had a burner in middle school, bro. I was trolling these. I was trolling these, bro. I was trolling. I just had too much time on my hands as a young nigga, bro. <laughs> Fuck, how old are you now, bro? I'm 22. 22? Oh Hell shit. Yeah. 2000? Hell yeah. Fuck. Uh, March 10th. Beautiful. What do you mean, bro? You're not from the 90s if yes, you're 99. Yes, I am, bro. I'm from the 90s. No, the 99s is a 90, baby. That's not nah, baby. Bro, you weren't even conscious. That's not baby. Really right on the line, October. That right whole year of your <laughs> from, you don't remember. It's a 90s Hey, bro, I still was in 99 for two and a half months. He was there. He was there, I guess. I was in the 90s for two and a half months. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's long enough. That's more than zero. I be jacking that, though, like, yeah, I'm a 90s, bro. <laughs> what do you think is, like, the next thing, bro? Like, there was the internet. Then there was social media. I really think that like this meta shit is gonna take off. Like we already seen how COVID that shit bothers me deep in today in today like internet so? environments. Mm-hmm. We seen that already. Like, and we seen like that. You seen that weak ass AI rapper? <laughs> I was oh, just about that's Mecca, like, Mecca or some shit. Yeah. Like, she like that's gonna keep happening. Yeah, it's gonna like keep evolving. That was just then, like, weird though. Like, was gonna, yeah, wasn't it, was like, was like, was yeah, it, was, wait, it was a white dude like voicing it? Yeah, it was a white dude. Yeah, it was a white dude. It was the algorithm writing all that shit, but it was like some random white dude who really controlled it. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Bro, but he actually got signed, bro. He was getting paid. He got signed. An AI, AI rapper. Signed. AI rapper got signed, bro. Like, what like is this world coming to? <laughs> Next is going to be AI takes over planet. And then we just going to be we just going to be gone. Hell no. That and I'm waiting on the flying cars for real. I mean, oh, that's my first car purchase. I'm waiting on that bitch. A I mean, you got one? Hell yeah. Fucking. <laughs> oh, you already got that bitch. I feel like that would be too dangerous, bro. <laughs> Why? Don't you think, like, bro, bro just motherfuckers just flying wherever they want? <laughs> the fuck, this the Jetsons? <laughs> oh, God, I want that, bro. Like, I guess they would have to do it, like, where just like drones nowadays, they have, like, parameters to keep away from, like, certain things. Like, yeah, like, so we don't have motherfuckers driving straight into a building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking, that would be crazy, though, if everybody had a flying car. We would have, like, the flying roadways and shit. That's yeah, how I'm imagining it. it's like we got the actual roads. You see that shit everywhere. Like Can't floating be. balloons that are like yeah, fucking, be <laughs> the fucking layout of the I'll roads. Be I'll trick the fuck out of a flying car. Damn, <laughs> bro. Next thing you know, they'll start <laughs> building like floating buildings and shit like that. Man. And then that's how they really split the poor from the rich. Damn, we're fucked. Bro. Fuck, bro. Yeah, we would be fucked. I can't lie. I'll be up there in the sky though. Sorry to the poor niggas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck <laughs> though, bro. Yeah. So what, what? So far, um, you know, you're making music, you're performing and shit. Like, 
what do you think your your priority is right now though right now in, in working on general. this tape actually today is what september 20 26 26 the k video probably gonna be out by the time this video drops um that's gonna be on all platforms got the video coming for that bless you um, appreciate it me and him just shot with geo shout out geo fucking go that was a hard ass video. A video i went to one of the Flinch. shots yeah that was a hard ass he video he was at the night shots that shit was tough as yeah fuck. we got that coming out um early october very early october for that and uh that's all in the rollout plan for like this tape i got coming out um i'm thinking about early november it's called x flama oh for real yeah okay, it's called what x flama what's that mean out of the fire from the fire yeah that's hard some yeah. devil worship shit? Hell no, I don't fuck with that devil shit. Okay, good. When y'all talking about witchcraft, bro, I, I got quiet a little yeah, bit. I don't fuck with that shit. I don't fuck with that shit. My bro, what do, you think, what do you think that is? Do you think people are dead ass like Satan worshippers or they're just like hyping it up? Like, it's one, like, niggas are Satan worshippers. Like, that shit real. There's a church of Satan. There's like all the books and shit. That shit's real. It's two niggas dick riding for clout. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas seen Cardi and Uzi with the upside down crosses. Like, mm -hmm. they, they dick riding for clout. I remember when that was a huge thing. They were like, oh my God, they're fucking for the devil. I'm like, yeah, chill. They've, yeah. been, they've been wearing that shit for a minute. Yeah. Like, but So, yeah, there's either one of those two categories. Yeah. But it's real. People that's really doing it. I stay away from that. My parents is from uh, Ghana. My oh. parents from Ghana, West Africa. What, what right? makes you think it's real though? Like, has there been like just, uh, experiences in your life? It's definitely real. It's real, bro. Like, okay, so look, my parents from Ghana, uh, West Africa. Um, like African movies when I was a little kid, bro. Shit would fuck me up. And like, I just know of stories from in my family. I'm not gonna speak too much on it, but niggas be getting curses put on them, bro. Yeah. Real curses. Yeah. And like, you'll see. How the person life change up after that hits him. I hear that shit too. Like my parents are Mexican. Like our parents, like they be. I know they be talking about like witchcraft and shit like that. Yeah, I'm talking to Eric behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, I mean, I've never had something like that happen to me before. But there are people who like literally like create spells and like cast these spells on people and shit. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna learn one and put one on Yo. you, bro. Bro, I I had a friend like they they had somebody like pull up to the crib. <laughs> Some, they pulled it to the crib and they had like a cracked egg or some shit in like the front of their door or something and like I think that had to do something with like no. something like no, I, that's crazy you, you gotta rub it around your body yeah how the hell is an egg gonna do that though Oh, it's a superstition behind it. But like, you know how like in the movies they have like the pot and like they put all these ingredients and shit. Like, and then some the people shit actually goes, do that. And then the shit goes off and then to the person. No, nah, like some motherfuckers will like actually like put together like a materials and like make a little spell or whatever. And fuck it, just yeah, that's what happened yeah. to my friend. Like that's what the like the eggs was. I guess that's what it was. Yeah. That's sorcery, real. Yeah. yeah. Shit, it could be cursed, but I don't know. Cursed. Y'all believe in ghosts and stuff? Shit, to an extent. Spirits? No, nah, I don't know. Just like I don't know. How do you define a ghost? I guess like paranormal activity, like just somebody who can fuck you up, but that's yeah. not there that you can't see. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> May maybe they can't fuck me up, but like other presences can be there. Type. Yeah. Nah, you've never like I don't know. You don't like, feel an like, eerie feeling or something. Like yeah, I was gonna say like when we, I would go to this church when we were younger, I was oh, like, fuck no, not feel a like a weird ass feeling whenever I'd walk in. You know what I mean? And it was an old ass church that was in. uh like south of the city so it was just like run down and everything you just get a weird feel when you'd walk in and and i feel like it's it's not like you got to see a ghost it's it's that exactly. what we went back to with the energy feeling that person's energy again you know what i mean bro because that goes back to what we were saying earlier like you can't see like the other plane like in terms of like other elements of energy but i feel mm -hmm. it though it's mm -hmm. real like mm -hmm. it's probably lost souls there or something like exactly never know like, something it's a lot of people that been on this earth like, you never walked through a graveyard and just yeah. felt weird? Yeah, bro. Like, you know how people just feel weird when they go to graveyard? Because it's just like, you could feel that energy. And it, it, they either, it could either be negative or positive. It, it's just like, based off that person, I feel like. My thing is, bro. it's a law, just like, of life. That you can't create or destroy energy. Mm -hmm. So the energy gotta go somewhere when we pass. So it's probably still remnants of it, just like, here and there. Maybe still lingering more of it, maybe less of it. But I feel like there's so many possibilities. I've just seen some crazy shit in life that just, I can't write nothing else off. Like, if somebody's experienced it, I got to low-key validate their experience, bro. Because people be going through some nut shit. Mm -hmm. And shit, if, if it's real up here, 
it's real out in the world. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure, for sure. Do you believe in like manifesting shit? Let's say you, you want something, you really think about it and you actually get it. I feel like that's something that's just really internal to just how I move with life. Like the manifestation, the prayer, or like whatever's in your head, you can't really achieve it unless you wake the fuck up and go and get it right after. So it's like you could say, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z a hundred fucking times, but if you actually don't put no effort towards it, what the fuck are you doing? I, I like really, it, yeah, I've realized lately like saying it out loud too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And saying it, it to yourself down too. Yeah. Like any form of that. You gotta hold yourself like, accountable. Yeah. It's more so. And you hold yourself more accountable when you say it out loud or yeah. if you write it down. Because you're looking at it and you're like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, or tell exactly. it to somebody. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. you might have a fire idea and then you tell it to somebody and they'll hold you accountable. Like, oh, shit. Did you end up doing this? Did you end up working on that design mm -hmm. or like working on that song or that tape, whatever you was talking about? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I feel like I be sharing my ideas with people to not only just like spread the wealth but to hold myself accountable sometimes yeah because you said you were gonna do this like now you gotta do it because you told yeah. people. yeah yeah exactly That's fine. exactly yeah but um what was i gonna say bro we're talking about like the energy and shit like that oh shit some motherfuckers are skating down there i guess or right. whatever but um when you talk to yourself i guess in a negative way i feel like psychologically you're actually like putting yourself down but if you really want to kind of like work your way up an easy way to do that is by just like not allowing yourself to insult yourself nah for real I think for real, I like, think for a minute anytime I'm with people and if a nigga say I'm stupid I look he will stop it and be like bro don't say that shit cause the more you say that shit the more you believe it everything that comes out of your mouth it holds some type of truth bro. Mm -hmm. it holds some type of truth even if you're just saying a joke that shit has some truth to it here and there mm -hmm. like shit I be joning that shit is part of my culture I be joning niggas but shit that shit gotta come from truth. Like, Jonah? Dude, Jonah? You ass nigga, like, like roasting people. Roasting, oh, yeah, yeah, roasting, I've never roasting. heard that. You never heard of that? I've never heard of Jonah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's a fucking Yankee. That's why. <laughs> I've, ne I've never heard of Jonah. <laughs> yeah, definitely what? from the South. That's from oh, South. I'm a Jonah on your ass, boy. Yeah, what? Yeah, let me join your shit, Lenny. Like, fuck around with you. Ash, yeah, Lenny. No. They had me here. Mickey Mouse, yeah, Lenny. That's not funny. But yeah, I mean, like, it holds a little bit of truth to it. Like, it might be a joke, but shit, like, you had to peep it. Before yeah. before you mentioned it, <laughs> but within your friend group, you think like teasing is like a bad thing? Nah, I feel like it's healthy for for dudes. Like yeah, like that's Me just kind of how we interact with each other. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. it's just crazy because we, we we had, had a talk, talk like with our team the other day, and like someone brought up something, and they didn't feel. Uh, I don't know if like they didn't feel comfortable with us joking around with like certain type of things, but like he obviously made it known, like yo, just don't joke about this stuff. Yeah, and we were just like. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, we all boys, like, it shouldn't really matter because, like, whatever we say in our little group, no one will find out. And I promise you, no one will find out. Type shit. And we say some shit. We ain't gonna lie. We ain't gonna criminate. <laughs> we ain't gonna criminate. <laughs> 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 but, but right, mostly, I mean, we, you we actually roast with that, No, we be roasting the shit. We just be roasting each other. Yeah. Like, it's like you ever seen his mullet, bro? Like, <laughs> shit is fucking caught his man up. Oh, oh, bro. Damn, no. No, I feel like for sometimes, though, we be talking so much shit that, like, sometimes people can take it personally. Nah, you, like, you'll, you'll definitely tell, like, if we're texting the group chat and someone's, like, talking mad shit and they keep going at that person. Like, hey, that person relax, relax, bro, relax, bro, relax, bro, relax, bro, relax. Hey, bro, I don't think he's joking anymore. <laughs> you tripping now. Now, it's definitely a fine line that you could cross, bro, between jokes and fucking pissing somebody the fuck off. Yeah. But no, nah, I definitely feel like it's a healthy thing to like, just say what, like, you, you should be able to feel comfortable and say what you want around a few people without, you know what I mean, hurting them in any type Hell of way. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's teasing. It's not like bullying. There's a big difference. Exactly. Exactly. It's yeah. all love. Yeah. It comes from a place of love. For exactly. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I guess if you're only teasing, like, like you got to like, oh, tell your homie, hey, bro, you look straight today. <laughs> well, that's why, well, that's like, why you got to throw it in. Yeah. yeah. That's why Alexis gets mad when we talk about his hair because like, he'll be sitting there, bro, and he'll be sitting there like this. Damn. And I'd be like, bro, are you still, still thinking about your hair? <laughs> but his shit's yeah. so ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis, your shit's ugly as fuck. Fuck up, bro. Hey, Alexis, they don't mean that shit, bro. They don't mean that shit. Damn, bro. Hey, bro, if someone want to sponsor him with a haircut, let us know. No, we really need something to help him out because... He's, he's got to get rid of the Edgar cut, bro. Yeah, oh, it's a little bold, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Edgar, Edgar. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you be on his ass. Okay, Edgar, I lied. Your cut <laughs> might be ass, gang. I'm sorry. For real, cut bro, might bro. be tragic. Oh, 
<laughs> Not the other day, bro. The other day, he didn't get a cut for a while, and uh, I walk in, I walk into HQ, Manny's crib, oh, and fuck. he's just going. They're just, they're just ch chopping off the back of his hair, bro. <laughs> they sent a picture in the chat, bro. There's a big chunk just. Oh, man, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, I don't know why they let him do that. Why is he go? No, we're just like, yeah, bro, we got you. <laughs> Damn. Bro, it was right before an interview that we had hey, to do, and you do instead that? of just going to get cut a, a, a barber, he was like, nah, I need Who to cut did that right now? Right now. Oh, him, he did it. Nah, bro, they <laughs> fucked his shit up, bro. Hey, bro, sometimes <laughs> you gotta get the back cut, months, man. <laughs> Sometimes you do, bro, for sure, for sure. Before I had my locks, man, I was walking around with some bullshit on my head, man. Hell yeah. For How many did those take you to grow? Shit, I think I've been having my hair like this for like, what month is it, October? Like a little, a year? Oh, that's pretty quick. Yeah. My wow. hair got hella shrinkage, so it's like, as soon as I locked up, after like a couple months, it dropped a mm -hmm. lot more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like a year and some change. Yeah. Do you think it's important for an artist to like pay attention to what they're wearing or like their appearance? Yes, 100%. You can't look bummy, bro. What? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, personally for me, it's some natural shit because like I just enjoy fashion. Like mm -hmm. I'm into that a lot. Fashion, I make designs. I be making designs with my boy Colin and shit. Um, but sometimes if you don't have it, you better go hire a stylist because what are you doing getting on stage and some fucking some bum shit? Yeah. And as like an artist, you really got to uphold a certain image at times. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if that's your image, if it's just real down to earth and shit, go for it. Go for it. Like, throttle on that. But if you're going for something else, like, yeah, put the swag on it, man. Put the swag yeah. on it. Got to. You're gonna be walking out the crib in some dumb <laughs> shit. It worked. That video blew the fuck up. You know what I would eat? That's like some bear grill. Chocolate covered shit. crickets. Those are pretty good. You what? Hell yeah. Whoa. You're nah, they're, they're they're actually pretty good and they hold a lot of protein, bro. I think oh, it's a cricket. You, I think you, it's you a chocolate. Protein. Hell yeah, bro. Them shit's good. About protein. Nah, they, they taste. They taste like. Bro, it really just tastes like. I don't really know like something I could compare to it. French fries? Nah. It's just like it's just like y'all ever had like fried yeah, with crickets? the chocolate. I mean, I haven't had it just yeah. like normal, but like I've had a chocolate. Like that's some Mexican shit. And it's really just like crunchy and yeah. that's it. Don't they take like French fries? I don't know. The chocolate probably really covered it taste. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but like I know a lot of the third world countries are like moving towards crickets cuz like they've realized on how you know what I mean, well it is for them and how much nutrients it does actually give them. Um, Wait, what? Crickets talk about crickets? Yeah, yeah. Talk about nutrition. I didn't even know. Yeah. I mean, I think in countries where like there's lotus lotus swarms, I think that's that's you've ever seen a lotus? Yeah. Like and you've seen the swarms where they just like eat crops within like minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Like entire acres. I never seen that yeah, bro. There's like the swarms in these motherfuckers. I think in those countries, like it's for sure more effective to eat the eat those type of Hell, things. Yeah. Um, for sure. Y'all would never hell. try that shit. I would try it. I'll try anything once in life. Yeah? Yeah, I'll try anything once in life. So you're eating a cockroach just like Tyler created it? I'll eat the cockroach. Oh, fuck. Yo, go find a cockroach right cockroach. now, bro. Please, just someone. get it. If y'all find a cockroach, I'll eat that bitch right now. Someone I'll find it. I mean, the odds Look of you finding a cockroach, ground. bro. I'm not eating Actually, cockroach. you know what? We're in Atlanta. You'll, you'll find <laughs> one. <laughs> no, we just go to my crib real quick. <laughs> no, we'll just go to your car. Yeah, we'll go, go to my car real quick. It's all for the creative aspect of it, though. I'm not going to sit. I'm not going to walk out my crib and grab a roach for a snack. Hell no. Not if you're hungry, bro. What if you're like, just, you finish smoking, you, there's no food. I've been down I had fucking water for dinner before, bro. Like, you ever had water and sugar? Not, water and sugar? Nah. Nah, you gotta, you That's gotta a whole dip the meal, bread bro. in the water, bro. The bread in the water? Yeah. What? That's how you eat it. So just straight Yeah, salt. you just. Bro, that. salt in the tortilla. That's, that's <laughs> a meal right there, bro. Salt in the tortilla. No, tortilla will fill your ass up. Yeah. For real. Fuck, bro. Damn, what's your, so then, what's your favorite, I guess, type of food? Or if you had a favorite dish. You first. Shit. Favorite dish? Probably like some Italian, like pasta. Carbonara, Damn. Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Something like that. This Maggiano's like down over there too. Yeah, that, that's the one. That's definitely one of the ones. If not that, probably like, you know, Hibachi Extreme. Him. Got that on standby. Hibachi Extreme. My people are not going to fuck with me for this. I love my country. But Jamaican food is the best food on earth. Jamaican food is fuck. Bro, I've never tried it, but it smells what? good as fuck. No what? Bro, I've tried the chicken though. I've tried the Jamaican chicken though. That shit, the jerky, yeah, that shit's good as fuck. But you gotta get from a legit spot. Like we got these spots in the city that's like it's mid tier. You gotta really look. There's one. There's, there's one, one by that the Benz. Right? Yeah, I was about to say the only one I've been to was the one by the Ben Stadium. Yeah. And the only reason that's why. I, fire? 
I really don't it's know. It's like, yeah, yeah, literally, literally like, that yeah. Fire. Yeah, that yeah. That shit's that, tough. That's hard. That shit's um, tough. But, like, I always see them when I drive, but, like, that's the only spot I've been to. Um, it smells good as fuck. Like oxtails before? Yeah. Oxtails. Nah, I don't really like oxtails. oxtails. I don't really like oxtails. Fuck. Mango's no, straight, bro. Mango's not that fine. You gotta try Fox. You got it. Damn, bro. You gotta try Fox, bro. Fox over on Edgewood. Tough, bro. Yeah. Bro, I don't know about y'all, but I could eat wings and fries for the rest of my life. Oh, this is my top three. Yeah. Wings, BNL wings. BNL wings, best wings in the city. Have you been to um? What do you mean? Have you been to B and W wings? No, bro. B&W. Shut oh. up. W and B wings. There we Those go. are not that W and B not even in this combo. What do you right. mean? They're not that they good. Fly, bro. They fight though, but they not even. No. B&L. They're not near B and L. Not, not gonna lie. Hey, bro. They're not even near. Here's that. the bottom tier, bro. Fucking Zaxby's. I think Zaxby's wings are at. On the bottom, close. Saxby's are pretty trash. Shit. They're good, but if you compare them to Wingstop, Shit, Wingstop's got the trash. upper hand. And then American Deli is good, but it's too small. The wings are too small. Please, little bro. rat pigeon wings, bro. Little small no, rat. Rat. <laughs> rat. It's not chicken, bro. I can tell you that. It's rat, right now, bro. Whatever you're eating, so it's not chicken. But no, W and B, bro. No, bro. bro, bro. Yo. It's, 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 I'm telling you, yo, you gotta no, don't go get to me Atlanta wrong. Fish House, bro. To be right Atlanta next to Atlanta the nearest house, it's okay. But I wouldn't go there. There's exactly. a place near me, bro, where you went. P- PJ Wings. I went there after he went, bro. That place is pretty. It's up in like Johns Creek, Alpharetta. But, it, but what, it's, what makes these it's wings solidified. so good? Because they're wings actual good? wings, bro. If I if I don't care how the sauce is, bro. If I get a wing and it's like this, I'm, I don't want to eat it. Yes, I mean, I'm still gonna eat it because I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat it. Bro, it's gotta bro. be a wing, bro. Like. Yeah, it do, it do. So you're saying it has to have a lot of meat yeah, on it? Yeah, and the flavor. I'm not gonna lie. If y'all, I stamp this like, go to Atlanta Fish House. You can order it ahead. You can pull up. They got a little drive through for the pickup orders, or you can walk in, get a ten piece sassy. Atlanta Fish or House. Or lemon pepper. They're gonna be the best ones you have. And they got the, they got the strawberry lemonade. It's like real strawberries. <laughs> The wing, the wing combo, really. I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't even say it's on interview. <laughs> wing combo, like, shit, like eight dollars for like a ten piece. Like, oh. and it's like that. I'm not even bullshit. Oh. Eight dollars, damn, y'all. bro. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I'm not mad at that. I wouldn't. Hey, lie we to need y'all. to send them this clip and then ask them to pay us for this promo. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got dollars. <laughs> Fuck, no, That's bro. the cheapest set of wings I've ever seen in Atlanta. Tell They're going for like fifteen. They only open like Monday through Friday because Saturday, Sunday they got to re up down there. They got they got to get back. <laughs> they got to re up. After this drive, it's gonna be a line. Yeah, I didn't fuck up. We got to blur it. Damn, you spilled the sauce. Shake my head, bro. Damn, that is crazy. That, is crazy. Got to. that shit's wow. hilarious. That's a lot. Oh yeah, they burned down and like got flooded too. What did? The spot, like, yeah. we can't go there no so more, bro. Good. I was just talking about it, just reminisce type shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. oh it's not there anymore? And yeah, B&L, B&L, B&L wings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all just got me, yo, what the fuck, bro? bro. B&L wings. You're hyping it up. He's never lying. He's gatekeeping right now. He's gatekeeping like, yeah, bro, that shit don't exist. Don't tell him, bro. They about to have all the wings. I just thought of it. It's not real. Hey, oh man. yeah. Now you ever seen the shit where someone will put some like food on their story and someone will slide up and he'll be like, nah, the chef actually just died. Like, there's no <laughs> the last plate ever. I'm sorry, they gate- that's what some they do, bro. They gatekeep like a Bro, some shit you gotta gatekeep. Like, <laughs> nigga might ask me where I got some clothes from. Shit, some Malaysian dude. That's what I say. I'm Rant. dead. Dude. I'm dead. Oh, fuck yeah. it, my boy out in uh, Madagascar. He shit me this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta say, you gotta say something. I, I always just say, everybody. I always just say the thrift or Burlington, just mm, cause. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, I got you got yeah, that at Burlington. Thrift. What? <laughs> <laughs> they be like so Rick's from Burlington. Yeah. What the, fuck? <laughs> the good thing about me is I don't have clothes on that make people want to ask where I get it. <laughs> <laughs> keep it low key. Keep it low key. But I got that Supreme shirt right under this. Ah. Shout out Supreme. Shout out Supreme. I was in New York. Oh, oh the real CT. Yeah. Stop playing. Stop playing with him. Shout out Prem though. I was in New York. Um, with my boys in January, I bought some cream and some shit, some other shit. Tell me why we got geeked up. Walked around a little bit. I left all of it on the ground. Oh, uh, right? not the Supreme. Yeah. I was big on shit. Supreme Yo. in high school, bro. That was my shit. Every That's Thursday, 10 a.m., I'm on the I'm on the app. Or is it 11? I'm on the app, bro. On Thursday, Every yeah. Thursday at 11, I'm, really I'm, I'm on the app, bro. I'm getting all the chops. Because oh I would be so crazy in high school. Yep. You had the bots too? Nah, I just uh, was going with my finger. I would probably get like three or four things. I wouldn't get anything crazy. Yeah, but like reselling? I would just, I would usually keep two things and resell two other things. So I would at least make 
at least half my money back Type of shit. what I just bought. Retailing so, and scamming was like the main way folks was making money mm-hmm, back then. Mm-hmm. Scamming is still the way, bro. That's what's keeping CTP uh, like above the green. Yeah, that's what that's what's keeping us plus. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's what's keeping us plus on the year, boys. On the dark web. CTP does not actually scam. We don't, bro. We got clear. But yo, we're gonna need your card information after this. Okay, I got you. Yeah, real quick. You get my social security number too. Oh, bad, bad. Oh, easy. Yeah, for sure. Where we going next week? Miami. Fuck no, bro. I'm but, trying to go back out the country soon, bro. We just came back from Puerto Rico. That what? Shit was so beautiful. Yeah, that's my first time over there. Well, how that was it like? Beautiful. What do you think? Man, it was like a fever dream. I feel like every time I go somewhere with just like people I love, mm-hmm. I can't have no issues, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know how niggas be going. You know how like there's stories of girls going to Miami. They not friends when they come back. I ain't never had no experience like that. Like. I just, I just feel like guys are different God. in in that way to girls. You can hear them flapping. God, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Kaka, but yeah, um, I just I be keeping good people around me. Like that's that's one of my things is if I'm not fucking with you, I'm never gonna see you again. Mm-hmm. I'll never see you again. You you probably you might see me like, at an event or some shit, but I'm not seeing I'm you. Sure yeah, I'm not I'm hanging out with you anymore, bro. Yeah. Like, I feel you on that. Because people would show you who they are the moment you meet them. Mm-hmm. Like y'all, the moment I met y'all at my shoot, bro, like been on, mm-hmm. been on. Y'all was legit, hardworking people. So it's like people will show you, and people like to ignore signs. I'm a person that if I see a sign, I gotta feel it, and I gotta know. I felt this type of way. I gotta really rely on my instincts, yeah, my intuition. So that's led me on a good path so far. <laughs> not straight, not straight, no. Nah. Yeah, no, that's a big thing. It's a key thing, I think, when you're trying to work as an artist or a videographer. Yeah. Really, anywhere in the music industry, like, you really got to know how to point out the red flags. Like, oh, yeah. We've been through so many different people that just, like, give off the worst vibes ever to where we already know, like, okay, this person is probably going to say this next. Type shit. Like, this is that type of person. Yeah. 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 It's just mad weird. You, you definitely got to know, like, when something feels weird, it's probably because it is weird. Yeah, Like, exactly. that person probably is, like, not acting only weird. That, not only that, like people that are on the same level as you mentally and respect your vision is super important to have like me and say or space was literally in the studio to like 5 30 last night um just collaborating and creating this is just a safe space where niggas could just make art together you know what i'm saying but like i've worked with people that just didn't respect the vision and shit didn't come out how i wanted because i'm very particular like i said earlier i'm a mm-hmm. controlling person i want shit to go the way I know it should go, you know what I'm saying? And that's how the vision becomes beautiful. That's why the video that we shot with Gio was so far because we had a whole treatment written out. Mm-hmm. We had a plan. We stuck to that bitch <laughs> movie. Exactly. It was a fucking movie. That shit's so fire. So, yeah, you got to have people that's got good energy mm-hmm. and they respect the vision because that is super important. Super fucking important. For sure, for sure. Is there any, like, advice you have for somebody that uh, is on the come up Somebody that's trying to start out music or do something really outside of what they're already doing. Yeah, definitely. Shit, bro, I'm still on the come up. Like every day is a fucking uh, effort to get better. Like I really say, the one piece of advice I can tell anybody is don't fucking stop. Like that shit sound cliche, cause everybody says it, but I mean it's the fucking truth, bro. Like if I would have said, damn, this song didn't do that well. I'm done making music. I'm not sitting here talking to y'all no more. Mm-hmm. Cause I've had shit that flop. Like every song not gonna be for everybody. But me personally, I fuck with it. So I'm gonna keep believing in my vision. I'm gonna keep grinding and keep going harder until that shit pops for the whole world. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I already know. Personally, I like to think of myself as a world builder. I'm not just an artist. I'm not just a musician. I like thinking of myself as a world builder. I like to create different avenues for shit. Like I'm not only in music. I'm in design. I'm trying to work with film, shit like that all the time. So it's like. <clears throat> if I quit, it's done. Like if I don't quit, <laughs> I still got progress to make every single day. One percent, even just one percent, is more than the last day. Yeah. You got one play on a song. That's better than zero, bro. Right. Yeah. Zero. One play is better than zero. I tell my boy, he do YouTube. Like, bro, just keep pushing that shit. It's gonna go. It has to. That's just the way the shit works. It's it's a cycle, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking cycle. Shout out Best Dads on YouTube. I stream my nigga shit. 
Exactly, bro. Yeah. And I, I think being consistent is just key because there's so many people already trying to work in this industry, trying to do something, whether it be YouTube, music, whatever it is. Consistency is the easy, the simplest answer, but it's also the hardest to act on. Like it's the hardest for sure. You can't like com- you can't say that you're consistent one weekend, two weeks in. Like you, consistent means like okay, you've yeah, been doing that. this for about like a year That's or so. Lifestyle. Yeah, That's yeah. Lifestyle for real. yeah. exactly. Wake up and go at exactly. And gotta, I, yeah, yeah. Like you what were you saying? Got to be consistent. Can't be complacent. Like mm-hmm. you, know, you just got to wake up wanting to make something happen. And like Velcro S was saying, it applies for all facets of life. Like. I mean, whatever you chase and take a risk. Like, don't just sit in your box. Don't just stay in the lane you feel comfortable in. Comfortability, being comfortable will actually take the drive out of anyone. Cause you just, oh God. I mean, it's like you on a couch, just chilling. You get stuck. Stuck, stuck. And stuck. then, and then you're left like, what's missing? Like, what, what what's are, missing? What am I doing wrong? And yeah. really, what are you, what are you not doing? Like, what are you even doing? Really? Exactly. Cause I, I think everyone is born with like, not to say that everyone's born with the destiny or whatever, but everyone every human who's conscious enough like they have that one goal or one thing they would like to do but a lot of people just never act on that and they just stay like complacent you know what i mean real, and i guess that's cool like if you want to get a nine to five have a family you know settle down and, yeah. and have a good life that's a good life yeah, to live close. but if uh-huh. if in the back of your head you're miserable because you never did the thing you wanted to do you never picked up the guitar to play you never you never picked up that camera to learn how to shoot videos, never became a director. Like, I think that's the ultimate misery right there is not yeah. being what you wanted to be. And the shit that be stopping a lot of people is fear. Yeah. Like, that's it's natural, though, to be scared. Like, mm-hmm. Anything you do that's new or unfamiliar, you're going to be scared, bro. Like, But that's a natural human feeling. And once you overcome that or you get comfortable within that fear of the unknown, <laughs> shit starts coming away. It's yeah. just like you meet new people, you get new opportunities. You start doing things that just you couldn't even imagine that you could have done before mm-hmm. by just being a little uncomfortable for that moment. Yeah, the fear would stop people in their tracks, and that's why a lot of people quit because it's just scary. I literally, this shit not even on no uh, creative shit. I was at the skate park trying to drop in because I just stopped skating for a minute. Trying to drop in, I was like, bro, I'm gonna bust my ass. I split my pants like two years ago trying to drop in, what? and I was like, no, I'm not skating no more. I'm not skating no more. I stopped skating for a minute. I was like, bro, I could do this shit. I could easily do this shit. Sat there, bust my ass, bust my ass, bust my ass, bust my ass. Kept doing that. Got it. Kinda got it. Still bust my ass. Got it. Next time. Gotta keep going. It's like, once you say, I'm finna just end this path, it's just just like, you lost your hope and your drive for real. So it's like, if you don't have that, man, you can't be successful. You can't be successful at all. Um, but still, every day, it's an everyday uh, motion, I can't lie. I be just trying to not to get stuck in like thought loops or like do the same thing. Cause I'm always in my own world. Always in my own world trying to expand that and have other people experience that world with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, shit, yeah. If I had advice for anybody, cliche as fuck, don't quit. Don't fucking quit. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Fire, fire. Do you have anything coming up that you want to drop for the people that are watching right now? Hell yeah. We got fucking Decay video dropping. Velcro S Decay. You should find that bitch. Um, Flinch with my boy Space on the way too. X Flama. Look for that. Might probably be on the way soon by the time this video drops. But yeah, projects, videos, content, all that on the way. Fire, fire. Oh, yeah. Shows too. Yo, 22nd, 22nd. Capture the fear, CTF shit. Yes, sir. CTF2. CTF2. Our annual event for sure. Annual shit. Man, yeah. Bro, appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all. For real. Been great, dog. Oh, yeah. CTV Podcast. We out this bitch.